The last time you guys saw this rift was at Beat the Creek. And I just recently, like from May all the way till now, finally tore it down. I had busted pinion gear bearings. Uh, things were rusted. It was messed up. The tires, the, the dual stage foams are still like dripping. Uh, yeah, really neglected this thing. But I got it all cleaned up and got some carbon panels on it. So guys, I'm gonna show this to you on the table because there's a whole lot of shiny Vinavon on this thing. We're gonna take it outside and get it dirty now that I just cleaned it up. Let's get to that table. And here it is. We got the 2.6 bead locks by Vitavon. We got the Black Mambas by Proline. We got Vitavon all over the place. You guys remember that old titanium steering uh, horn? There it is. Now, got Vitavon all the way through. We got a Vitavon <laughs> transmission case, everything. And it appears I have cleaned everything up. Um, had to go through all the diffs, everything, like I mentioned. Uh, new carbon on here. I thought I just kind of forgot to clean the drivers up. And I still have a wiring mess. I always have a wiring mess. But anyway, I'm going to get this thing charged up, get some 4S on it, take it out, and see what we got. Yep. Let's do this. It has really been a while since I've driven this thing. And I don't even know how to drive it anymore. Probably gonna flip it over. Sounds like I got something not right already. Oh well, let's see what breaks. All right, let's uh, get this clean thing dirty. Got some dirt. The first thing I'm driving up is this right here, this nice big old pile of fresh dirt. Let's see how soft it is. Oh. Huh. That's not too bad. It's been raining, so it's not like powdery right now. Now we got the good old black dirt over here. Oh, that's a good one right there. Let's see. Oh man, you can see the deer print and all way down in the ground. It is soft out here. Look at this. Wow. They had a party out here. Wow, they was they was they was getting down now, let me tell you. I see deer print all the time, but never like this. This is awesome. Big old squirrels. All right, let's see what I can get up here. Oh, man. All right, let's try it again. Oh, man. Yeah, those deer, they were having a party back here. Not really planning to send it too hard, but um, we are going to hit a little bit. It'd be nice if I could make it to that pile. That will be pretty neat. Let's see what happens here. And I'm just going to go straight for it. I'm not even going to slow-mo this thing. Let's see. Oh, man. I did. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. It was so clean. Well, let's drive out of this. Oh, oh, you know what? This might be good for slow motion. Let me get that, because this ain't gonna sling. I told you. <laughs> Let me see here. I want to hit something. Oh! Off camera backflip and I stuffed it. Ooh, that was nice. That was nice. Just for the heck of it, I'm going to hit the back of this and just see where we end up. Hopefully I don't crash. How awesome was that? <laughs> I gotta go back and look at that. I looked at it. I'll never get that again. 
I'll never get that again. That was awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. Got a backflip. Wasn't quite the same though. This thing is awesome. Oh, nice. Oh no. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this jump real quick. Yep, got it. Nice. One more time, why not? Oh yeah, second time was better. And just because, why not? Let's go ahead and do a quick crawl. I did take the sway bar link loose on the right side. So the, there is basically no front sway bar. As in, well, it's there, but it's not actually hooked up. Castle system, we're going to hear a little bit of whine right here. I'm going to try to uh, lower the volume. So I'm just simply going to do some driving here. When I talk, I'll do my thing. So far, so good. And when you're gonna crawl like this, you really don't need a front sway bar. And when you put all this metal under here and you hear those first few clunks, clunk, clunk, clunk. Like, ow, oh, that hurts my feelings. But then it's like, well, what else are you gonna do with it? Let it sit on a shelf? No, we're gonna drive. And let's see what we got. Golly. It's a little bit too big for Gatekeeper. Got it though. I'm gonna try to take the high side, the left side. Um, hmm. But then again, I think that would be easier. The bottom side would be harder. So, ah, eh, fine. Let's go and do the hard side. Wow, this thing's gonna come all the way off. Yeah. It did not come all the way off yet. Wow. Wow, was not expecting that. That was way more impressive than I thought. You know guys, that was fun. It's been so long since I've driven this thing. Um, that wheelie, I hit the dirt and it went up and then it just drove out from underneath it. And that was when it got that weird, like, Heck, I don't know what, a McTwist looking thing? Uh, that was pretty darn awesome. When I saw it coming around, I actually had enough time in my busy little brain here that I was able to throttle it and bring it up. So that actually, believe it or not, was not an accident.
I must be learning something. I don't know. But anyway, that was an awesome, awesome flip. Uh, thing done good. The noise at the start seems like it just went away. Sounds good to me. Anyway, guys, I hope you hopefully you like the video because I I, I need to drive this more. I'm glad I took the time to actually repair it. I didn't show the repair video and all that because. We've all seen gears get tore up. We've all seen busted bearings. We've all seen all that. So there was no need. For, there was no need for me to show that to you guys again. Anyway, check that description. I'll link up the rift and all the parts and pieces as best I can. Yeah, check that description. Use those links. They are affiliate links. Amen, eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. It helps out the channel when you guys use them. So hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and thank you all for watching. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.